Okay, so I just came back from what was supposed to be an audition. But I didn't make it to the audition process. Apparently I didn't have the look. I didn't know what look they was going for. I didn't know. Like you tell me you want to be ghetto there. Shout out, I can be ghetto and I can be from the A and all that. Just so y'all let me know, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't know. So how am I supposed to do? So I was there, you know. I just got off work. You know, see, I got my little collar shirt on, you know, because I just came straight from work, you know, because I almost didn't even make it. So I came straight from work, right? And um, I came up there and I was like, um, I'm looking to, you know, possibly do the girl, the role of the girl, you know, or this other role, right? And that was that. And, you know, I walked off, told me I was in group B. Apparently B is a bad group. You don't want to be in that. It means you don't have no talent, you don't have no energy, you don't have no nothing, nada, niente. So... I was sent home. Maybe I'll get, you know, some extra work or something. But I just wish I would have known. I wish I got a chance to actually audition, read some script, improvise something. You know, I didn't know. I didn't know you wanted me to be real ghetto. I mean, if you told me, like, I need you to be like Sean Quisha, then I'd have been Sean Quisha, okay? I'd have brought that, okay? I could have did it from the A. Shout it. I said shout about 23 times. Shout it. Shout You know what I'm saying? Shout it. You know, shout it. And I don't, you, it ain't got to be all like that. You could have just told me that because I didn't have to waste my little gas coming down here if you ain't gonna tell me what you want you know what I'm saying I could have did that you know but I didn't know that that's what they wanted you know so I didn't give that and I was a little proper and you know <sighs> yeah sorry for all that let me bring it back together um yeah so you know <laughs> the short version of all that is I really didn't even get a chance to audition because I didn't have the look I think that you know maybe I should have brought it a little more when I just had my 10 seconds to say that, you know, this is a role I'm watching. I'm like, I'm trying to get the role for the girl that's trying to be dating folks on Facebook and stuff like that. But, you know, I didn't do that and bring that. So, so I've learned and I'll do better next time. Hopefully I get some extra work and then go in and swoop down for the kill and be like, oh, you could just do, I could just do this role, you know what I'm saying? Like create my own character or something like that. I don't know, we'll see. I just had to let that out because, you know, I was feeling a little hurt because I'm because of the rejection, you know. No one likes rejection. When you experience it, it's like, woo! You know, it just turns your world upside down. But there will be more auditions, probably some more rejections. But one person will say, yes, you've got the look. You've got what we're looking for. We want you. Oh, and it will be so great. And it may not even have pay, you know, I might just get a credit and you know what, that's fine, you know, you gotta start somewhere. So that was my little experience that I had today, you know, with my whole rejection thing that I experienced. But you know, it's okay, you know. I got to meet Pierre, he's so cute, yellow self, he's a comedian, you might know him, look him up, Google him or something. I guess that's all, everyone have a great day, bye. If I can get to the stop button. Okay, there we go.